not hey welcome back everybody i'm a jade monkey we're back here in rust we're talking about the rust console edition the rust console beta that's going on right now yes and we have an update really good news actually and we are in the fourth week is this correct let me just double check the calendar uh, your boy's bad with the math um yeah so we're in the fourth week right now Things are going full tilt, but we got official information from Double Eleven. Very exciting. I think it's fantastic news. So, without further ado, let's uh, let's let's jump in there. Okay. So, oops, oops. There we go. Okay. So, uh, March twenty fourth, closed beta test progress, written by Pedro Silvia. Hopefully, I said that correctly. It says hello, everyone. The Rust console edition closed beta is still well underway, and we want to take a moment to thank all of you who have been a part of this amazing journey so far. The feedback we've been getting has proven critical, helping us fix many bugs, improving server stability, and helping us shape up the game for smoother release, for a smoother release. Yes. Initially, our plan was never to invite this many players for the closed beta test, but due to the popular demand and the sake of stress testing the servers as much as we possibly can during this period, we quick quickly decided to change our strategy. That's awesome. Yes. We've ended up inviting way more players than we originally planned. As expected, this ended up triggering a lot more issues than we, uh, that we know we need to work on. But ultimately, this has been the best decision. Keep in mind that the closed beta test is our big chance to pick on every single little detail uh, we can perfect. Uh, we can and perfect it. Sorry, your boy is bad at reading. <laughs> I'm terrible at reading. English is my first language. And generally expanding the number of players in the beta test was ending up getting a lot excuse me a lot more information we wouldn't otherwise get we wouldn't get otherwise it's crucial that the team stays focused on performance and fixes in the run up to launch okay yep yep some of the issues facing players are beyond our control and down to human error when entering their details i believe this um has to do with uh getting into the beta maybe maybe uh and bearing in mind that we literally hundreds of thousands of people with access to the beta we can't respond to every individual issue as much as we'd like to. Uh, we don't have the capacity at the moment. Uh, but don't worry, every report is taken into consideration, and on launch we'll have a much more balanced system to deal with this type of situation. We also expect that most of the issues will be, res will be resolved by then. And we'll go over that, so people that are, I think, trying to get in or maybe people that are trying to report things. Um, yeah, so we'll, we'll go over some of that. But basically... They're trying to keep up because since they added so many people, I don't think they have the ability to respond. But again, using their the Discord that you get as a private invite, once you're in the beta itself, once you've been chosen, uh, try to use that feedback system as much as possible. And you know, for other people on the outside waiting, just uh, be as patient as you can uh, because even if you don't make it in the beta, just know that uh, it's just around the corner. You know what I mean? Like it's literally spring of this year. So that's great. And they'll go over some of this here. Uh, I did have a chance to read over this earlier, but... You know, patience. Uh, but yeah, that's awesome. Just knowing that they've added a lot more people, and we've been able to really bang on it and make it uh, as best it can be. So that'll good. That'll be great. Okay, back to the uh, to the post here. Back to the beta. As we previously mentioned, this test period has helped us a lot so far in testing out things we could not have tested before internally. Thanks to you all, we have as mu we have a much clearer picture on how the game behaves when it hits higher player counts. Yes, as well as what we need to do to support a large player base during. Uh, large player base trying to connect at the same time. All right. We didn't expect to hit more than 12,000 concurrent players during the test, during this test, but it's happened, and we're very happy with the results. Just so you know, concurrent are people at the same time. That by no means uh, means that that's how many people are in the beta. There's a lot more than that. Concurrent just means like the peak that it hit, and that's good considering that this is a closed beta. That's like, that's stellar. So just know that the volume of people in the beta is much higher. So don't freak out. And again, uh, if you don't make it in there, um, just be as patient as you can. Know that this is 100% to make the game as best as it can be. And again, as soon as we're able to speak on this, because it is currently under NDA, uh, if we have an opportunity to, uh, we will um, we'll answer any of your questions, you know, as players. And, uh, you know, we'll go from there. Okay. Um, yeah, I just, you know, it'd be great, you know, if we could stream from there and we could, like, show people and then you guys could answer questions and stuff or ask questions and we'll answer them to the best of our ability. It'd be great. Looking forward to it. If it happens, if not, we'll do it during full release. Um, it says, we've also learned that some of the features didn't work properly and need some minor adjustments. The team will keep working on those as well as introducing new ones that we plan to have implemented before the release of the game this spring. Nice. So they've also confirmed it there. 
uh, you know, if you've been following the channel at all, you know, we've been trying to, you know, keep you guys up to date on everything that they've been posting. They posted an article on their Twitter and it said spring, so it's nice that they verified it again here. Overall, the community has shown immense love and support for the game, and we understand that the huge responsibility we have on our shoulders and how important it is for the community that we present the best possible version of Rust Console Edition once we release it. This is why we're going to extend the closed beta period for one more week. That's awesome. All right, so check this out. We want the... Oh, it's cool. They're actually saying it. <laughs> Uh, we want the Rust Console Edition to be the best game it possibly can be, so by extending the beta, we should be able to get some more valuable information and work on even more improvements. Yes, this will also give the community more opportunities to join us as we expand the test even further. Nice. Uh, and, f and for our support team, and I'm sorry, I even further, for our support team to bring as many of you as they possibly can uh, to the game. So it looks like as soon as they have the capacity, They'll definitely add more people. So, again, be patient. Uh, thanks once again for the immense support and for helping us test the Rust Console Edition. Uh, we'll have more exciting news to share with all of you during the course of this week. Oh, nice. Have a great day, everyone. And for those of you who are part of the beta, keep sending us your valuable feedback. Pedro, thanks. So, that's awesome. I know there's a lot of people that are in it, but there's also a lot of people still waiting. Uh, I... Um, let me just point you towards the fill out form here. Let me let me do we have it? Do I have it? Is it over here? Did I did I get it? There we go. Here's the address right here. Uh you can fill out the information down below. And again, if you're already interested in the game, you might as well. Uh and here's how this typically works, real quick. Um once you get your details confirmed via your email and you submit that, you're then in the quote unquote lottery portion and it's completely random and they'll they'll pick people as they can add more people in because they're adding people they're testing things, they're making changes. Once things are at where they want it to be, then they add more people. That's how it works. So again, don't take it personally or anything. I know there's a lot of people that have signed up in 2019. They're still waiting for stuff. I would say um, if you haven't gotten a confirmation email on your details, maybe submit another one and just wait for that confirmation. I wouldn't flood them too much. But no, once you've, once you've submitted the confirmation portion, you're in the lottery or the raffle or whatever it is to, to be pulled potentially. But remember, it's 100% random. So uh, keep that in mind. But yeah, and it, it, if you are in the beta and you are running into stuff, by all means, the private Discord link that they sent you via email, there is a feedback section there. Just read through some of the things real quick. Again, it makes the game as, as best as it possibly can be for you and all the other player base. Super exciting that it's out there for, you know, for the PlayStation and the Xbox. The fact that we get to play together, I'm super excited for this. The fact that they've extended it another week is, is freaking amazing, right? That's awesome. So like... What, let me look at my calendar again. I'm so bad with dates. So we're looking at, um, so if it was going to end on the 29th, right? We've got, um, oh my goodness, why am I so bad at this? The 29th was Monday. So that would be <laughs> April 5th? Is that right? Is that Would that be another week? Is that right? That's awesome. Either way, more opportunities for more people. We can all get in there. And again, uh, if and when they lift the NDA, by all means, we'll be in there playing it, showing you guys, uh, myself, Jade Monkey, the Boyfriend Squad, uh, Razor Tube, and BioLaser. All of us will be in there playing it, of course, and we'll also be playing it during full release, obviously. Uh, very excited for this. It's awesome that they have um, they decided to, to extend this even further like during the test. That's amazing. Um, that's, that's great news. And um, just, to, just as a reminder, I don't want to make this terribly long. I know we've got a, uh, there's supposed to be some sort of event happening on Friday. And again, I believe, I, I don't know if it's for PlayStation and Xbox, but let's be honest. If it's, if there's Rust news, it is for PlayStation and Xbox, right? Because even if it's a PlayStation event, it still pertains to PlayStation and Xbox. And if it's an Xbox event and they're talking about Rust, it pertains to PlayStation and Xbox. Do you get what I'm saying? So if they announce anything, um, which I guess they're hinting towards, I guess we'll find out then. So... I guess we'll be there if we can live stream it. We'll be there uh, hanging out with everybody, doing stuff in the interim. Since we're not allowed to stream it yet, uh, we'll be playing off and on here on the PC, uh, you know, answering you guys' game mechanic questions in general. And obviously, we can't talk about it yet because it's under NDA, but that's okay. Um, yeah, soon enough, we'll be able to talk about it. And uh, yeah, very excited. Uh, if you like this video and you found it informative, be sure to drop a like if you're not already subscribed and you think it's something you're into. Drop a subscribe, turn on those notifications. Big thanks to those of you that are subscribed. And we've been doing a lot of different um, streams and stuff.
builds. Uh, we got a lot of guides out there. I guess I should go ahead and link that now in the upper right-hand corner. Uh, the Rust beta guide uh, from monuments to building and all that good stuff. So very exciting. Um, I'm super pumped for this, man. Uh, this is an exciting week. So hopefully we'll see you guys there on the beach. And uh, in the interim, until uh, the NDA is lifted, we'll also be over on the PC doing some streams there. So hopefully we we'll see you all there. All right. We'll see you guys later. Bye. All right. Did I put gasoline in this car is a real question. I did. See, not a good driver either. <laughs> we'll drive it into the ocean. <laughs>